Field Notes Journal Entry, date June 15th, 2023, location, Sulphur Springs Camp, Texas Hill Country. Today Ezra and I embarked on a fishing and camping adventure by the Colorado River. The sun beats down relentlessly, casting its scorching rays upon us. Strangely, we found ourselves the sole occupants of the camp. Not a single soul shared this vast expanse with us. Our chosen spot nestled next to a magnificent rock wall, offering a picturesque backdrop to our outdoor adventure. Without delay, we commenced the task of setting up our campsite, starting with the indispensable awning. The buzzing swarms of bugs lurking in our midst compelled us to transform the awning into a protective haven, shielding us from the persistent onslaught of mosquitoes. Ezra's eagerness to explore the river grew palpable prompting him to repeatedly inquire about our imminent descent. Patiently, I reassured him that soon enough, we would go to the river. The sky darkened as clouds amassed overhead, accompanied by distant rumblings of thunder. I must confess, my fishing skills are not that good. My experiences in this realm have been sporadic, limited to a mere one or two occasions during my formative years. However, I yearn to acquire proficiency in fishing, desiring to pass down the knowledge to my son. The rumbling thunder intensified, drawing nearer with each passing moment casting an ominous shadow over our endeavor. A thunderous lightning strike jolted Ezra and me, instilling a surge of fear that sent us scampering back to our campsite. The sheer shock etched across his face painted a lasting memory, an encounter with the loudest lightning he would never forget. My own trepidation mirrored him as I contemplated the potential escalation of the storm. Seeking shelter, we sought solace within the confines of our truck until the thunderous symphony subsided.
Once the storm receded and the sky cleared its somber veil, we embraced the remaining hours of the afternoon by the river's edge. Its waters, worn by the sun's rays, offered a soothing respite from the stifling heat. Surviving the oppressively humid night in our rooftop tent would have been inconceivable without the aid of our trusty Zero Breeze air conditioner. This clever device, powered by the anchor power station within our truck, served as a lifesaver during the steamy nights. Before retreating to the shelter of the tent, we indulged in a refreshing shower, courtesy of the Juca hot tap shower system. Although warm water was not our priority, we adjusted the settings to a gentle cooling flow. With checkout time looming at 9 a.m., breakfast preparations proved impractical. In truth, the suffocating humidity hurried our departure, beckoning us to leave the camp behind. It's gross. Everything. Despite the scorching temperatures, oppressive humidity, and our lack of fishing success, Ezra and I forged unforgettable memories as father and son during our camping adventure. It is these cherished moments that I preserved through the lens of my camera, capturing their essence on film to be revisited in the future. This particular location holds a special place in my heart as it marked Ezra's inaugural camping experience, an occasion forever immortalized on film. For those interested, a link to this episode can be found in my bio. In conclusion, our time at Sulphur Springs Camp was a resounding success. Now we must relinquish in tranquility and embark on a six hour journey back home from the driver's seat. Until the next rendezvous with nature, keep camping. <laughs>